Good morning, dear Aurovillians, newcomers, volunteers and guests, and greetings to all of you who are listening us from near and far. Today is Thursday, 31st of July, and here in Norway is cloudy on 27 degrees Celsius, and weather forecast for today is very warm with intervals of clouds and sunshine during the day, and mostly cloudy over the night. Temperatures ranging between low of 28 to high of 36 with a heat index of 39 degrees Celsius. Westerly winds at 11 km per hour with occasional gusts on 18 km per hour. Over the night winds will change the direction to south wind winds with 10 km per hour with gusts on 14 km per hour. Moon is waxing crescent, illuminated on 18%. Weekend will be in tone of two theater plays, one lecture, volunteer gathering and more. On Saturday at 5.30 p.m. in the Ashram Theater, Rue Safran, Pondicherry, we are cordially invited to a lecture by Dr. Karan Singh on The Last Message of Sri Aurobindo. On this occasion, two books authored by Dr. Karan Singh will be also released. One is Triveni, with essays, poems and novella, published by Shubi Publication, and the other one is Guragon and Meetings with the Remarkable Women, published by Pamplisset Publishers in New Delhi. The function will be presided over by Professor Manoj Das with Bala Bhaskar from Aurobil Foundation and Matri Prasad from Shirobindu Ashram present. Transplantation has been arranged with two buses who will leave Solar Kitchen at 4.30 p.m. on Saturday to reach the Ashram Theatre before 5.30 p.m. Tomorrow at 8 p.m. at Sri Aurobindo Auditorium, Bharat Nivas, Pavilion of India in the International Zone, we can see The Tenth Head, a play presented by Adi Shakti. Gates will close sharp at 8 p.m. In The Tenth Head, the ten heads of Ravana become a metaphor for the tension that exists between the individual and the collective. The director of this play is Venapik Chawla, with script by Vinaj Kumar, and performers of The Tenth Head are Vinaj Kumar, KG, artists Suresh Kalia, Nimi Raphael, Arvind Rain, animation is done by Anup Davis, and animation and sound operation by Apur Arthur, and light design by Vinaj Kumar. Musicians are Suresh Kaliats, Chandra, Nimi Rafael, on vocal and Mizawa, Arvind Rane, Edikia, and costumes by Vinaj Kumar. Acknowledgements are also to Anol Velani with music composition from songs Call Me Head. Next day, Saturday 2nd, as well in Sri Aurobindo Auditorium, again presented by Adi Shakti, to play Nidratvam and Hanuman Ramayana. Nidravatam by Nimi Rafael on script, direction and performance, cast and credits. Vinapi Chawla, on creative guidance, Vinaj Kumar on light and design operator, Aravind Rain on music and tech support, and Apura Art on music operator. Hanuman Ramayan by Suresh Kalyati, script and direction, performance, cast and credits, Vina Pichawla, creative guidance, Nimi Rafael as musician, Aravind Rain as musician, and Vinaj Kumar on light design and operation. And for Sunday comes an invitation for Art Chakra, the volunteers open art event between 10.30am to 12.30pm in Auroville Room at Kala Kendra near Aurobindo Auditorium, Bharat Nivas Pavilion of India in International Zone. Organizers said that they are ready with the lineup of interesting performances and presentations for you. They have in store for you presentation of paintings, photography, travel stories, fashion design, martial arts, short films, along with the stand-up comedy show by Auroville volunteers. All power packed in just two hours. So they're inviting you to join them on Sunday as we start at 10.30 a.m. for the first session of Art Chakra. For more information we can contact Guara, who is a resident of artist at Kala Kendra on 9787897947. Nana Palan, father of Aurovillians Kanya Palan, Nagapan and Aromogam passed away on Sunday evening. He was in his 80s and was bedridden since one year. He was working for Oroville from the very beginning, starting with the Machamandir nursery where he was driving the first bala car of Oroville bringing compost from Pondicherry. Later in 83, he started working with Bavana for the Blitz Garden. From there he got into a forestation award that he continued as the watchman until last year 2013. Meanwhile, his children joined Oroville and he gave away his land to Oroville. Dana Palan's entire life was dedicated to building Oroville and our gratitude and love go on.